Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. If you enjoy our show, don't forget to help us out by subscribing to this podcast, sharing it with a friend, and providing us with a review on iTunes. Check out the show notes below for the link. Thanks, and enjoy the show. We'll be discussing Big Four Myths. And the big four myth that we'll be talking about today is that there's a perfect way to interact with a client and you need to be a natural salesperson to succeed in the big four. People often think that there are these professionals out there that just deal with their clients in the right way and are savants in client relationships. And they believe these people can do all the right things regarding clients. They know technical advice to take to their clients and they're there for their clients all the time. But that is wrong. Many people in the big four are deathly afraid of dealing with clients, and the only reason they win work is because they work at the big four and have the brand of the big four behind them. There is essentially a best practice for everything in the big four, including client relationships. So people in the big four become so afraid that they don't know how to interact with their clients and they become scared and they actually don't interact with them because of they're afraid that they're not going to follow one of these best practices. And it's also true that clients are often busy and don't actually want to deal with the big four. Contrary to what the big four make it seem like, if you watch YouTube videos and their social media, you think that there's clients waiting out there with bated breath, waiting to hear from the big four. But they're not really, they're busy, they're doing their day job, they're making entries, they're talking to their CFOs and things like that. So there is no perfect way to deal with clients. Most people just email their clients on a semi-frequent basis and they take them to lunch every now and then. And if the client is big enough, The client gets offered tickets to a sporting event or they get a really nice dinner. And if this client is extremely important, they get client specific workshops where tons of partners come out and work with the executives at the client to understand what their issues are and how the big four firm can help them address this. And there are also account teams if the client is huge. And in that case, the big four professionals are very strictly told how to interact with the client because they don't want any mistakes made on a huge client and they want to avoid getting kicked out of a client. So I just wanted to bust this myth that you have to be a perfect salesperson when you go to the big four. Partners will make it seem like they're super smooth salespeople, but they really aren't. They aren't given that much freedom in how they're supposed to interact with clients because they are one person in a huge firm. The big four is not gonna let them destroy their brand. So they're not given that much freedom. They just follow what the big four leadership have told them to do around client interactions, and that's exactly what they do. Wanted to take a quick break today to tell you about our big four interview course. Did you know that only 4% of candidates get into the big four? That's right, only 4%. Deloitte gets about 500,000 applications a year, and only 4% of those candidates get in. Well, we want to help you get a job at the big four. We want to help you be part of that 4% by preparing you for your Big Four interview, and we think we can do this with our Big Four interview course. Our Big Four interview course provides you with all the important things that you need to do to prep for your Big Four interview. This includes research on all the Big Four that's prepared for you, and also guidance on how to conduct more specific research on the firm and practice you'll be interviewing with. We also walk you through interview questions and how to answer those interview questions the way the Big Four professionals will want them to be answered among other valuable insights into the big four. And if that isn't enough, we offer a PDF of 100 additional big four interview questions and a big four resume template. You've invested in your accounting education and you invest in your accounting exam, whether that's a CPA exam or another course. So why not invest in a big four interview course to help you nail the big four interview? Check out the link to the big four interview course in the show notes to learn more. Thanks. And now we'll get you back to the show. We appreciate your help in growing this podcast so we can continue to bring you the best Big Four content possible. You could help us out by providing a review on iTunes, sending us an email with your comments, and don't forget to share with your friends. There's a link below in the show notes. That's our show for today. Thanks for listening and have a great day.